they, whoever they are, say you shouldn't make tavern terrain. And this is like the second tavern piece of terrain I've made. Sorry, they. Hello and welcome to the Battling Barrow. Yes, as I said in the intro bit there, we t this video is going to be like, like making some tavern terrain, but not really making, just improving upon the magnetic tavern set that I made about a year ago now. Um, what I found is during the course of my games is I've been using it an awful lot. It's we seem to have many encounters in a tavern. It's not just go there, pick up quest, and move on. There's many interesting scenarios happen in taverns in our games. Plus, you can use it for, I've been using it for interiors of big manor houses and large houses and the like. Um, so it's been good. We made out of these little magnetic small walls uh, using a magnetic strip here. All well and good, but it takes a bit of a while to set up sort of one back wall, you know, sort of three pieces to set up. So I'm going to make an improvement by making the outer walls uh, out of sort of a bit, one bit of foam per wall. Well, does that mean I'm not going to be using these? No, because these will get used for any internal walls I need to set up. Maybe smaller rooms, even in a tavern, you might have a snug set up in the tavern. So now I'll still be using these, uh, but we're just going to make improvements to the overall piece. Uh, so one thing I want to be able to make is um, set up different qualities of tavern. That's what we've been finding. Sometimes in one game we went to three different taverns and I just set up the same tavern uh, and just placed it on the board and kept it behind me where it was magnetic so I could move onto the table. But it was commented on that these taverns all look the awful, awful like a lot of the same, even though there were three different qualities of tavern, a low, medium and a high standard of tavern. So I want to be able to cover that too. Also, uh, the magnetic sheet I had uh, that I used as the floor, that's great, but it's a bit thin. So we need to make improvements to that. So let's do that first. The first thing I'm going to do is take the uh, steel tavern floor we made in the previous tavern video on the other side has the dungeon tile which I don't use anymore and I'm going to uh, attach it to some foam and I'll glue it to some um, chipboard and the reason for this is because this stuff is really flexible So I want to uh, straighten it out and strengthen it a bit. So what I've done here, I've got my foam and I've just painted the edges in uh, brown and my podge just to protect them. And now I'm just going to uh, glue them to the chipboard. And then I'm going to apply some glue to this and glue this to the foam. And let's apply some heavy books to keep it in place. Next up, I'm going to take some tail mill foam and cut it into strips of two inches. The length of it will be the same length as a wall piece here. Um, now, interestingly, uh, this is going to help me actually is as I've just done then in my measurements where I used both metric and imperial. I didn't realize this when I bought this piece of steel is that this is both metric and imperial if you look here on this side it's 30 centimeters and not 12 inches but if we measure it here it is longer than 30 centimeters it's in fact 12 inches so uh, it is actually longer this way than this way so what I'm going to do is make these match the metric length which is 30 centimeters because that will allow me when I set this up putting a wall at the end and a wall here is you don't get much real much overhang here due to the extra length you've got here and I'm only ever really gonna set up two maybe three walls I'm never gonna set up this one because this is where our players will be looking into 
so I'll never have this front wall in. Uh, so at the moment, when I do it with the old system, I only have to set up two walls. But there might be a case where I have to set up three if I need a door here showing into the kitchen or something like that. So that's great. That actually has worked in my favour. This weird. Uh, metric imperial thing and it's something I do as well so it makes me chuckle what I'm going to do is just before I do anything else is add a bit of texture to the wall for when I paint it next I am going to take some of the cheap foam board that I use um, that takes a texture really well I'm going to sh cut it down into bits that are half the width of the uh, the foam board itself uh, and these are going to be used uh, for the wood planks you could of course use coffee stirrers as well I've done in the past but I really want to uh, have thicker bits than the coffee stirrers I've got so I'm going to use a foam board for it uh, and then once I've done that I'm going to put in a wood grain texture into them I'm just going to make a load taking our textured timber sheets I'm going to strip them down so they're 10mm wide and then the height of them will be the same height as the walls in this case it's about 5 centimeters uh, wide uh, long so we've got our walls ready textured we've got our main plank beams ready to go we can't just stick them on any aisle we've got to put some windows on and some doors first let's concentrate on the windows I'm, I'm probably gonna do I think three windows to a wall and I'm gonna have two walls with windows in so that's six windows uh, now you could make them like we've made them uh, before I've got one of the old walls here so if you want to make them exactly the same way as that that would be okay and if you're doing it like this big you probably only want two what I am going to do is I want to uh, take this to the next level so I've actually found on eBay a, a load of these now these are different sets um, but I'm going to be using um, these are uh, these are MDF uh, laser cut window frames um, and they're, they're different sizes there's actually four different uh, purchases in this uh, from this seller I'll put the link in the description to the ones I'm using I'm going to use this size here so that's why I'm going to have one two three I'll be using these in the future for like standard houses windows because they're going to be the perfect size for my modular houses here I'm going to show have some modular houses with this style window in there just perfect size almost the exact size I use for my windows uh, this here that's uh, for you know if I want to do a bigger type place thing in the future and these because I want to make a chapel temple type soon so I've got these lovely little church windows so look out for that in the near future probably around December time uh, so let's open them up uh, they're well packaged with some sellotape that's great uh, so let's get the ones I'm going to use which are these medium ones and oh I love the smell of burnt MDF yep that's an addictive smell so what I'm going to do I get three out uh, like so and I'm not even going to paint these I'm just going to leave these in their colour they've got a front and a back uh, so whilst I'm making these two sided this will be the front side which will be the I'm making them in quality of in so this will be a good quality or med medium to good quality in probably medium I'll probably do another set for good quality in the near future maybe thinking we need to buy some more of these how many do I get of these I've sort of ruined the neat pole ah okay so uh, ruined all the neat poles that you have nice sign I put in so got these I'm going to do three here and then do a good quality I might have two uh, yeah I'm just trying to work things out but anyway so I'd need another set really uh, so let's yeah let's go through and let's have a look so quality would have more windows well, I suppose we could do I might do one side with two windows and one side with three so I'd have this is my medium quality so I'd have that many windows five and then my good one 
I'm going to do I have these three and these two yes 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 that is what I'm going to do this and so and why would I do that why would I want to do that because I probably want a fireplace I'd have it against this wall here with the two windows so that is why I would do that so that makes sense but for now we need to work out placement okay so I'm gonna put this in the middle uh, and for this I'm gonna draw around and likewise we are going to then cut this out So, I'll draw the other one in. I'm going to cut these out, and then what will happen is when I do the planking, there'll be a plank here, here, and put this one temporary. And then I'll have two planks in for here. Something. Well, that one's off isn't it so what I'm gonna do is totally ignore that one uh, so I do things like this so you can no my mistakes and I'm just gonna measure the middle and then wipe all the others so it's like that so really it's the and what I'll do is I'll do this off camera and cut everything out uh, I'm not gonna glue these in yet until after I've painted windows marked out and I've marked out Wall of two windows now onto doors. Um, it's roughly in place. I want a door in the middle for one wall, and maybe one here just to one side, just to uh, maybe this side. I think, yeah, maybe this side to the bar for me would always be the other end. I'm not going to do the entrance wall to the tavern, that's always going to be the wall that will be missing for the players because um, that's the one they're going from. Now for the doors, I am not going to be making doors for these, I'm going to be reusing the doors I make for my haunted house tile set because they're perfect, they're wooden. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come here for the middle uh, panel, I'm going to put it there. Now, yeah that will be enough room at the top there. So again, eyeballing it. Just in the middle, just to make sure we're in the middle. Yeah, that's fine. So what I'm going to do? Trace around that, and then here on this one, we'll put the door here because this will always be the back room. So these plans would enter from this way. Be a wall here, so and then the bar might be here. In the back here so this could lead to the kitchen moving the bars over here it could lead to another room but I want it away from the main entrance with all the doors and windows cut out it's planking time I'm going to be putting four main planks in first and then deciding whether I need any detailed planking but if you watch the channel you've seen that done time and time again the difference being here it's being done with this foam rather than coffee stirrers but the principles will be the same okay so we got it all done I still might add a few more beams in here and there but for now we can move on to the next stage and that is flipping it over and doing a bit of weathering so and start here and take a sculpting tool and I'm just going to outline in where the plaster has falling off and you can also do things like add cracks into where the windows in cracks on the corner back here just to really reiterate that this is a lower class establishment um, so go back to the oh, missing plaster uh, so yeah so marked that off there like so and coming with my sculpting tool and begin to push it down into that hole that's what it looks like 
brick underneath is lower than the blast on top. That's kind of the effect we're going for. That actually textures this up nicely as well. That should be too deep. Mill, two mil. Just enough there to give that illusion. Sculpt into again out of the sharp side. Just add in some rough and dirty brick pattern. Maybe some crack coming away from where the plaster has fallen. Got a nice weathered look. Do that in a few places, plus with the uh, cracks here, and that should tell tell the scene, set the scene that this is a bit of a a divier place. Do that on a few, and you're good to go. Your walls can be uh, undercoated now uh, in brown. Um, I have added some Mod Podge to this, not for protection, just to give a bit of extra texture to the um, the walls, and easier to uh, paint any bits like this first. Little windows, but yeah, just going to go around undercoat this all in. Burnt umber, umber and Mod Podge. Trying to get a thick layer on the wall for texturing purposes. Once the um, brown has dried, we can come over in this tan beige cream color. I'm using Central Coastline. I'm even going to uh, try and get into the grout lines of my brick pattern around the edge and the bricks themselves, to be honest. Because uh, these will be painted grey later on, but even things like that. Only thing I am not painting, of course, is the wooden beams. They shall remain this lovely dark brown. Pick out the individual bricks in grey, and then give the whole thing a wash. This is just a homemade wash made from dirty uh, paint water and black ink, just so it's not 100% black. I want it to be slightly muddy and brown and black. What I'm doing is just coming in, just washing over all of one side. Add a little dishwasher soap to your wash too, just so it flows better. This is a cheap and quick and easy wash. Okay, so I've decided to double up on the windows. It's got five windows just because of the size. And I'm also going to add a little a uh, bit of windowing, so that wouldn't look quite if I put it in the wall like that, or that would. And yeah, so what I'm going to do now is construct the windows first. So I'm going to get some super glue and just run it around here. window in and simply round the edge here and pop this window on like so leave that to dry also I can't leave it dry so I'll show you <laughs> but yeah and we got a window uh, what I'm using for the window is uh, overhead projector uh, stuff. You, of course, don't have to use that. You can use, uh, I don't have any at hand, um, clamshell. If you buy, buy miniatures such as Reaper, you get a clamshell. Just use plastic from that, or you know, any produce you have of the like that's clear plastic. Packaging and like, just recycle that and use that for your windows. You don't even have to put windows in, but I just like the effect that when the light catches them, like here, just 
makes it look that much more realistic. I'm also, I don't know if you notice, you can see super glue squidging out in places. I'm also not worried about that either because these are windows back in the day. I'm trying to sort of almost mimic. We're not perfect glass, they were quite rubbish made glass, so that to me just adds to it. So I'm going to make construct all those. Uh, so I'm going to have five windows. And yeah, I'm going to put these in. And now we are on to the weathering stage. I have pushed the uh, windows in now. Uh, I haven't glued them in because I want to be able to pop them out just in case I change my mind about not painting the uh, frame, those bits. Uh, at the moment I'm quite happy but I don't know if I want those black or dark in the frame down so I haven't glued these in and I may not but we're going to weather so we're going to get some uh, sort of pigment now to make pigment you can buy it of course or you can grab some cheap artist pastels from any arts and craft shop uh, get the pastel carefully use a blade this is an old uh, blade that I've just replaced in my Stanley knife uh, but I'll keep it, and I'll keep it in the pastel box, and you just sort of scrape down. And you get some dust. Come in with an old brush, this is not one I've used for glue and what have you, and it's now just solid. Come in with your finger, and this is the better side for the pub. So I'm only going to come in very lightly, uh, just in sort of corners. around the window where people have been placing their hands to open it. And then they come in yeah, just lightly. And you could even get some on your finger like this just to put them like that. Now, I don't want anything too too much on this. This is But for the uh, other side, which is the cheaper uh, hotel, the more hotel, to have more rundown one, I've gone extra heavy on it. So just to, you can of course lightly wet your brush, dab most of it off, uh, just to get a bit more pigment on your brush, to get a darker color there. I don't know if you saw that, if you want a bit of a darker. And get in for the corners and you can just have fun you can use different colors as well now uh, carol doing this right now and yeah and um, with that Uh, painting of these is done and I'm really happy with these how they look. The pigment is taking it all to the next level really. What I'll do now is add our magnets in. Magnet time. Um, look at the lie. I am quite nervous about this. Um, Last time I actually did the walls in using a magnetic sheet. This time I'm going for it. Um, got some magnets, some little uh, three mil thick by five mil uh, diameter. Uh, what I've done just on one side is I've put a little black blob from one side. I can see no one's going to start taking from here. Maybe I might actually put a black blob. Might spend a bit of time putting a black bob on all the sides. I just know that's going to be the side that I'm going to glue in. So then they're all facing the same way. It's not too bad at this stage because they're all just going on the steel surface. It doesn't matter what side they go on, they'll stick. But just for the future, just in case I want to go up or something, I want to have them all, the polarity all being the same way. So that's what I'm going to do. I might, yeah, spend a bit of time 
putting blobs on them. I'm probably going to put three to a uh, wall section. So uh, do 12. So I might just a bit of time black blobbing the ones I'm going to use. And then we're going to figure out how to get them into the wall. And this is what I'm nervous about. So even my camera's nervous. Can't focus in on anything. Now my thinking is hot glue gun. Um, the nib diameter is slightly smaller, but doesn't matter. Maybe wiggle around, and I can use it just to at least put holes in initially, um, make wider. Probably dab a bit of hot glue in the bottom anyway. Okay, test time. Okay. And they passed the test. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Jigga 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 jig. Nothing moving. Perfect. 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 Well, okay. Let's have a look at a different type of showcase now. We are done with the construction. Let's have a look. I'm not going to go into building bars and things, we can go to uh, decorating uh, stuff later on. Uh, what I am going to do in this video though, is just set it up in different ways. You know, setting up a, a nice bar, sketchy bar, you know, that. Let's have a look at it, let's change camera angle. Before we do have a look at it all set up, I should point out that you can also make some other types of uh, wall as well. So we've got our sort of nicer half timbered uh, wall, and on the other side we've got our uh, more sort of rundown half timbered uh, wall. But that's great. But what if you don't want half timbered wall? What if you want it a uh, stone wall? Well, I've got that here. Um, Use small windows for this, but that doesn't matter, it's just another aspect of it. You can have a uh, stone wall, same principle, uh, but on the other side, of course. What, what can we do on the other side? Just add another style of tavern. We can do a uh, timbered wall, a totally wooden timbered wall. So this could be good for a seaside shanty tavern type thing, or even a richer manor house. And here we can have perhaps one set up castle scene or a stone wall manor house or what have you a stone wall tavern so yeah with this i've now got almost limitless tavern uh, things that i can set up that won't get repetitive so why don't we have a look at those now um yeah uh, let's have a look at them set up now Okay, so a bit of a different showcase this one because it still involves me speaking, but I want to show off pretty much how I do with the modular houses, the different sort of setups you can achieve. So I've got three walls set up here. We won't worry too much about this one, but you know, they're magnetized. So if I was like doing a high class uh, house, I'd set it up like this, uh, a high class house, high class tavern with you know real good quality. I'd set it up like this. But let's say I wanted to introduce just a little bit of rundown so it's not as good i do that so all these walls here are fine i apologize for the desk here for it not it doesn't sit like this with this here it's just my desk is uneven here on filming but you can see so already just one wall is now looking a bit ropey but then to make it a bit more ropey we can turn this one over so now we've got two ropey walls one good wall and if i really wanted to go for the real dive in uh I can do this and now all three walls are well bad you wouldn't want to stay here <laughs> you want to pay money here so you can see there oh hello me so just with uh, that alone like you can flip up multiple different taverns you know you can have that wall good it's all bad yeah you, know, you can already get quite a few different taverns I'm not setting up anything inside for this because I don't feel we need to to look at this, we're here to look at the uh, walls themselves and not the decoration. Okay, next up we can quickly flip that out and we can put in a bit more, say, of a manor house, I guess, with the wood panelling wall like this to give a different feel again. Or it could be a tavern, this could be a nautical tavern with that um, 
Reaper Bones Pirate Bay set that I've got. I can set up the bar there to give it a nautical theme. Um, and then quite easily I can begin to flip walls. We've got me. I can have some stone walls, maybe stone tavern, or if I need to go inside a castle or stone manor house, I've got this just to set up the stage here. Yeah, and that's it. I'm really pleased with these. I can still use the smaller walls inside if I need to. I'm not showing those off here, but I can add in smaller walls here. But this uh, is a nice, real flexible system that allows me to quickly and easily swap out things if I need to. So, uh, plan scenes, you can sort of set it up beforehand and put it to one side and drop it onto the table. And then if it's unplanned, it's quick enough just to, you know, even if you need a smaller room, you can sort of say here, boom. You can do multiple things. So just with these magnets, just great. Uh, so yeah, really happy with these. Um, potentially the last tavern build I'll do, I might do another few external taverns in the future. But um, for now, that is it. So thanks for watching, guys. Until the next video, stay safe and take care.